So who's excited to listen to the next speaker? What I need from you, I need you to pay attention. I need you to listen. I need you to take some notes because I'm telling you what, the next dude has a wealth of knowledge. I've, we've, only, we've only known each other for literally like 45 days. But what our business has received, what this conference has received, what our sales team has received, and what my wife and I have received has been incredible. So I'm telling you what, not only am I excited to hear him, but I know you guys are too. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and welcome to the stage my good buddy, Mr. Charlie Chena, right after this short video. Check this thing out. For the past three decades, Charlie Chena has worked in high-level sales environments, building sales teams, and driving revenue. He has profited in industries such as software, construction, automotive, and numerous others. Through his entrepreneurial journey, he mastered a skill set that is very unique, and that is the art of presentation. As a result, he has been able to transfer his processes because they are all technique driven and do not require talent. Charlie's exposed and closed marketing system has allowed him to sell into billion dollar Las Vegas projects like the Wynn Resort, Palazzo Hotel, and Mandarin Oriental. He has also acquired and works with the top motivational speakers, sales trainers, and subject matter experts in the world and personally consults them to create, deliver, and monetize their content online and offline worldwide. Please welcome Charlie Chena as he teaches you how to expose, close, and drive massive revenue. Damn, I haven't done nothing yet. Let me earn it. How's everybody doing? I'm excited to be here, and I have a lot of love for these two people right here. You don't even know. Seriously, they're players. <clears throat> players. They inspire me. All right, enough of that. Let's get down to it, because I don't have a lot of time. They're only giving me 45 minutes, and I have a lot to transfer to you. So that being said, I need a volunteer. All the men are... Will you stand up, please? Can you come up here? Do we have a handheld? I need you to help me with something. I need you to finish this sentence. You ready? Yeah. Talk loud so everybody can hear you. It takes money to make... Money. If you think she's right, stand up. Wow, the murder. Come on over. Left pocket or right pocket? Right pocket. Right pocket. Nice and, uh, it's yours. It's mine? Take it. Thank you. What is it? It's a hundred dollar bill. Ben Franklin. Everybody have a seat. Here's the reality. It was her knowledge and the action step to raise her hand that allowed her to make a hundred bucks. So I disagree with that statement. It doesn't take money to make money. It takes knowledge, it takes commitment, it takes tenacity, it takes implementation. Because knowledge is what? Power. Knowledge is power, right? But power and knowledge without the implementation is what? Zero. So what I'm here today to teach you to do or to impress upon you to do is to educate yourself so you can elevate yourself so you can dominate your space. I'd write that down if I were you because that was free. I didn't charge you for it. 
Okay? Educate, elevate, dominate. I'm having a little... Educate, elevate, dominate. So, quick little background. Past 30 years, I've been in high-level sales environments, building sales teams, or had my own seven-figure businesses. I started those businesses with zero. I didn't know it at the time, but 30 years ago, growing up in Buffalo, New York, 10, 11, 12, I got a paper route, Buffalo Evening News. And I used to drag my paper wagon through the snow, freezing cold. Anybody here from Buffalo, Western New York, Syracuse, snow country? It's not pleasant. But I knew that the more doors I knocked and the more I introduced the paper, the more I'd produce. So to Cody's point, he just knocked. He made 100 grand in eight months because he's knocked doors. So the more hands you shake, the more money you make. And, when, and when, as I built my route, I knew the larger the distribution, the more profit I made off of selling or distributing the paper. Because we're all in the distribution business. It doesn't matter what we sell. As long as you're certain and you believe in what you're selling, then, to Mr. Maselli's point, you don't have to sell because nobody likes to be sold. Is everybody with me? So, what I'm here to teach you today is how to present, position, and profit. You're going to hear me say that several different times in the next 42 minutes and 41 seconds. But I'm selling papers. Now, if I got lucky and the lady that gave me my papers every day had extra papers, guess who asked for those extra papers? Me, because she wouldn't charge me for them. I'd get them for free, and then I would stand out on Delaware Avenue, sometimes in the freezing cold at 5, 5.30, and cars would go by, and I'd stand there and do this. And when I was doing this, what was I trying to get? Attention. Attention. Pretty basic, right? The more cars that went by, the more impressions, right, people seeing me, I had, the better chances I had of selling what? 10, 11, 12 years old, I'm at this point talking on, on, a, on a very basic seventh grade level. So what I'm trying to impress upon everybody is at a very early age, I knew that the more I introduced, the more I produced, right? Knowledge is power, but the implementation and action is what it takes. Just like this young gentleman four months ago had an idea, and we're all sitting here today because of it, and literally millions of dollars in business is going to be transacted at this conference by the time everyone walks out. New relationships, right? New deals, new knowledge, new implementation. So all that being said, I learned at an early age the power of selling, the power of marketing, the power of positioning and persuasion. Eight years old, I had watched my dad from the time I was three, four, entrepreneur. My dad was the type of guy that went all in, ninth grade education. Anything he did, he went all in. He knew how to shake hands. He knew how to introduce himself. Everybody knew Charlie Chena Jr. when he walked into a room, and by the time he left, he made friends with everybody. I watched my dad take his business from zero. By the time I was eight, eighth birthday, he said, son, what do you want for your birthday? I said, dad. I'm going to walk over here so I don't kill myself. I said, Dad, I want a built-in pool, right? You're eight. You reach for the stars. No, no filters. He said, no problem, son. He opened up the telephone book. Any of you mill uh, millennials know what a telephone book is? <laughs> he opened the telephone book. First guy he called was a guy by the name of John Bunch. I don't forget it. He went to the phone on the wall. It was a red rotary phone. A lot of the millennials are looking at me saying, what's that? But <laughs> dialed it. Said, John, my name's Charlie Chena. I need your help. It's my son's eighth birthday, and I need a pool in my backyard the shape of an eight. Three hours later, the guy shows up, signs the contract. A month later, I had a pool. We had cars, Cadillacs, Lincolns, brought home my mother fur coats, vacations, multiple businesses, and then a couple bad moves a couple overextensions, I watched my dad's business plummet. Right? I watched my family separate. My parents got divorced. The only thing worse than divorce is death, in my opinion. 
right? Because it lingers. It's not pleasant. Some of you are shaking your head. Maybe you've been through it, right? But I was fortunate enough at an early age to know, and I had good mentors. My dad was a great mentor, taught me so much, my grandfather. I, I knew that if I could sell, I could always overcome the fear of not being able to produce. So I mastered the art of selling, and I've been in different industries, automotive, software, promotions, deregulation of telecom. So it doesn't matter to me what I'm selling. I'm in the distribution business. Now, take a look at the companies right there. You familiar with them? Pepsi, Barrett Jackson Auto Auction, Palazzo Hotel, Mandarin Oriental. Those companies have one thing in common. Me and the techniques that I'm about to share with you that are completely transferable. They don't require talent. You can learn these techniques and they're simple. When I get done in the next 40 minutes, you will literally be able to walk out of here and utilize these techniques and they will make a difference in your life. So what if you had a guaranteed proven system where you could attract numerous amounts of customers convert them into paying customers, leverage them, get repeat referral business, sell them additional products and services, and ultimately retain them so you have a revenue relationship for life. Would that be advantageous to you? Yes. Absolutely. So here's what we're going to discuss. The people on the screen, you might not know their faces, but you might know their names. In the middle there to the left is a guy by the name of Apollo Ono. Anyone know who Apollo Ono is? 2012 gold medalist. Turned him into a client using a simple technique that will literally cost you pennies or zero. In the middle, young power couple, Chris and Larissa Noggle. They have a TV show on HGTV. They teach you how to flip houses. To the right, anyone recognize him? Les Brown, the, probably the number one motivational speaker in the country. Lower right, Eric Thomas, hip-hop preacher, gets about $50,000 to do a keynote. Great guy. In the middle, recognize him? Buddy. Buddy Velastro, cake boss. When I tell you how I closed Buddy Velastro, you're going to say, no way. But Vince Spompanato would tell you, yes way. Last but not least, over to the left, I don't know if you know that guy, Shut It Down, John Taffer, Bar Rescue, anybody watch that show? Okay. These people have one thing in common, you know what it is? And the techniques that I'm about to share with you. So here's what I want to do, write this down. I'm here to activate your mindset, I'm here to help you acquire more customers, and I'm here to help you achieve profitability. You finish the sentence. And I can't hear you guys. Success. Success. So expose and close. How do you expose? How do you close? How do you drive massive revenue? Mr. Maselli, did I pronounce your last name right? Said people don't like to be sold. Fact is, a lot of people in this room, although you're salespeople, you don't like it. A lot of you in this room don't like to sell. You know how I know? Because I introduced myself to hundreds of people in this room, and very few people told me what they do. As a matter of fact, I met an incredible man, Mr. Ziani. Anyone met Mr. Ziani, the clothier? I met him a half a dozen times before I knew what he sold, which is incredible clothes. If you haven't been over to his vendor booth, the guy's top-notch. But he never told me what he did. He never told me about his product or service. So when I use the word expose and close, how do you market, sell, promote, advertise? How do you differentiate yourself in the marketplace? And how, above all, do you get people's attention? So how do you expose? How do you close? So let's talk about getting attention. Every day when you wake up, it should be your intention 
to get people's attention. And when you get people's attention, you need people to get, you need people to pay attention. And once people pay attention, eventually they will pay you for your attention. Does that make sense to everybody? <clears throat> so it's your intention when you wake up in the morning to get attention. Now you got their attention, right? You're getting them to pay attention. And eventually, they'll pay you for your attention. So what do we do? We get attention, we build relationships, we drive revenue. We want to add zeros to our bank account. I want you guys to see the whole picture here because it's very simple, but for some reason, doing it's complex. And you need to have a millionaire mindset. Your job, your initiative, when I say millionaire mindset, I'm not talking about Rolls Royces and jets and planes and trains and Rolex watches. I'm talking about being able to take care of your family. A lot of you are in final expense or a lot of you are in the insurance business, right? It's one illness. And if you don't have enough, there's a problem, right? That's what you folks are actually selling, right? How, how do people overcome that problem? God forbid that they do it. They get a, an illness. So that being said, I'm here to teach you how to present. I'm here to teach you how to position. And I'm here to teach you how to profit. How do you present yourself in a way that's unforgettable at the first point of contact? How do you position yourself in your space to dominate where you become the only logical choice? And then how do you profit by creating multiple streams of revenue with the products and services that you already have? Now we're here to collaborate, we're here to share ideas. I heard one gentleman get on stage that said, you should have multiple products and services. I'm not gonna mention any names. I heard another gentleman before him say, you should have one product and you should master it. Well, I agree with both of them. You need to crawl, walk, run. You need to make sure you know how to present position and profit with the first product that you have. And once you're unconsciously conscious and you know and you can represent that product in your sleep, now you can take it to the next level. But if you don't have that acumen, I agree with Vince Pompanato. You're, 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 you're a jack of all trades, master of none. Once you master it, I agree with Mr. Maselli. Have another bullet in your gun and leverage that particular client to build that long-term relationship and service them so they don't have to go look for somebody else. So write this down. Words trigger pictures, which trigger emotions, which lead to action steps. Words trigger, pictures. which trigger? Emotions. Which lead to action steps. Words are things. Words are code. We're now all in the information age. What if a program is missing one period or one number? Is it going to work on your computer? Absolutely not. Well, miss one word. Miss one pause in a conversation. Use an incorrect word that triggers the wrong picture, and you are not going to convert. Are you guys, oh, are you guys following me back here? Okay, so words trigger pictures, which trigger emotions, which trigger action steps. Words are things. Now I'm too far away. So here's a gentleman. No squeak, see I'm learning. Here's a gentleman by the name of Lester Thornhill. I met Lester at a 10X conference. 10,000 people. I was walking in, huge line. I didn't want to wait in line. One of Grant's guys came over and said, Charlie, come on, I'll, I'll fast track you. I said, no, I'm going for a cup of coffee. I sat down at Starbucks. Man sits next to me. I could have ignored him, but I've got opportunities in a 10-foot radius of where I am every day. I leaned over, and guess what I said to him? Hi, my name's Charlie. What's your name? He said, my name's Lester. I said, Lester, nice to meet you. He said, Charlie, what do you do? I said, I empower speaker, trainers, and subject matter experts to monetize their content online, worldwide, in three easy steps, guaranteed. Lester said, 
I want what you have to offer. I said, great. I opened up my laptop, showed him a system that I represent. It's called Lightspeed VT. Has anyone in here heard of it? In fact, got a lot of customers in here, right? Showed him a demo. Here's what I've done for Taffer. Here's what I've done for Les Brown. Here's what I've done, Lester, for guys just like you. He took out his credit card, gave me $5,000, and said, here's a deposit. Let's get started. Less than 30 minutes. Hi, what's your name? My name is. I had my power pitch down. I knew how to present. I knew how to engage. And here, when I left Lester, is what he said. I said, Lester, you don't mind if I take out my little tiny phone here and capture what you and I just transacted, do you? He said, nope, Charlie, have at it. I turned on the camera. This is one take. I never said a word to this man or, or uh, put words on his lips. Hi, my name is Lester Thornhill. Just met Charlie. Amazing gentleman. Just stuck out his hand and said, hey, what's your name? And I said, my name is Lester. I'm here at the Mandolin Bay with my son. And within the matter of seconds, we built a relationship that will benefit both of our lives. Charlie now, is, I can consider him a friend. He met my wife, he met my son. Yes. <laughs> and now I believe we're gonna have a long-term relationship because I'll expose him to millions of people in my organization and also he'll help me teach me of how to build my company and expand my growth and my reach. So Charlie, I want to say thank you. You're awesome. I've never thought I would have met someone in 30 seconds and changed the course of my life and changed the course of my business forever. Thank you. Vince Pampanato, you walk... You were there, you walked by, right? I was there right at that time. You were there. I actually, I was just telling him that. You met Lester. So, hi, what's your name? I guarantee you some of you are sitting here right now and don't even know the person's name that's sitting next to you. So, I need to move quickly here. Better words. What's your message to market? I'm going to go through this quickly. This will probably be one of the most dynamic things that I can share with you. I'm at a conference of storm chasers. Michael, Storm Michael just happened. These are the roofing contractors, general contractors that go in and work with these people that are devastated. I spoke this past February. I walked around the conference and said, what do you do? And the guy said, I'm a roofer. You know what I told him? No, you're not. You're not a roofer. You empower people to get their homes and businesses back after they've been devastated by a storm disaster in 60 to 90 days stress-free in just three simple steps. I was at a chiropractic convention in April, spoke to 200 very successful chiropractors. I walked around the conference, in the coffee shop, going up the escalator, and I said, what do you do? The guy said, I'm a chiropractor. You know what I told him? No, you're not. You empower people to allevi alleviate pain Increase mobility, increase longevity and mental clarity through a drug-free, natural process. What's your process? What do you do? I'm at this conference. I got here early. I was here on Wednesday helping Cody and Lauren set up, right? We were positioning so we could help everybody profit. And I met a lot of people in this room. How many people have I personally shook your hand and met you? Raise your hand. I'm not doing my job. But I'm also here to serve a client. But I said, what do you do? I sell insurance. You know what I told that person? No, you don't. I said, you empower people to protect their families, their most precious assets, and the things that they love most guaranteed in just three easy steps. There's a lot of people in here that are in this business. I said, what do you do? I sell final expense. Guess what I told them? No, you don't. You help seniors protect their loved ones from the burdens and financial obligations of final expense, stress-free and just 
Do you get it? That's a game changer. That's your marketing message. That's your elevator pitch. That's your power pitch. Right? People don't like to be sold. As Mr. Maselli said, right? They don't like to be sold. Great. Then bring them towards you. This is a young lady, got into a new business, 33, 34 years old, four boys, 13 and under. She had a mind shift. Completely changed everything. Like, yeah, 100%. Uh, no, seriously, Charlie, that, that was huge. And you were able to do that with a, a brief introduction. Could you imagine if we went into the whole conversation? That was just the introduction. You got someone to open and look who might have not been willing to look. That's huge. You gave me a moment of pause where they might think about it. Or they're at least open to looking. They're open to looking. Hi, what's your name? What do you do? I empower people too. Oh, really? How do you do that? Through my three-step process. I teach you how to present position profit. Oh my God, Charlie, that's amazing. I, I want to learn more. Great. I have an appointment tomorrow at 3 o'clock, or I'm doing a seminar or a workshop. I have two openings. Would you like to come tomorrow, or would you like to come on Friday? So here's the deal. You all need to figure out and know exactly what you're selling, and you're selling the resolution to a what? A way to achieve a goal. You're selling peace of mind. Would you agree? Yeah. It usually, in some way, shape, or form, is going to be tied to revenue. You're going to protect my assets. You're going to help me save money. So write this down. This is a million-dollar move, a million-dollar question. This is what I personally use when I sell my products and services. Cody, what are the three biggest problems you're having in your business right now that if you could overcome would put another $50,000 to your bottom line? Six weeks ago, Cody told me those three problems. I pulled over on the 15 North on a street called Blue Diamond for my three o'clock phone call with Cody. True or false, did I ask you that? He told me, I've got an event, I need to drive gate. I don't think people understand what I'm trying to do for this industry. So, well, Cody, I can teach you how to present, position, and profit, three easy steps. Then guess what he said to me? How much? I told him, didn't blink said, send me the agreement, I'll have the money to you on Monday. That was less than six weeks ago. So the guy's a player, the guy's an implementer, and again, it's been a privilege to work with you here. So what are the three biggest problems that you're having in your business right now? I want to know one. What is the one biggest problem you're having in your business right now? Guys, can we go to that slide? So what I want you to do is take out your phones. We need to do this quickly because now I only have 20 minutes left. Vote one, two, or three. Is it marketing and promotion? Is it sales and overcoming objections? Or is it motivation and inspiration and mindset? Is it, is it corporate culture? So take out your phones. Text 425-979-7119. That's 425-979-7119. And then vote one for marketing and promotion, two for sales. Look at that. We're coming up in real time, baby. Three for motivation. So what would you all be saying? Right? You're selling final expense. Again, I'm just, I'm just riffing up here. I don't know your business as well as you do. But if I was walking in or on the phone, Mrs. Jones, what are your three biggest concerns that you have right now that you're looking to achieve with final expense insurance. I guarantee you 95% of the people are probably going to say the top three things. Is that correct? It's in any business. So that's a million dollar question. So I want to move along, but right now 53% say promotion and marketing, 30% sales, 10% say motivation, and I'm sure there's going to be more coming in. But thanks for sharing that data with me. So this is Mickey Hernandez. 
Mickey called me, software business. He said, Charlie, I'm dying on the vine. I can't get people. I can't get people on the phone. I don't, I don't know how to do a demo. I'm not getting enough leads. I said, Mickey, what are you saying? I said, Mickey, you're not saying the right things. So I had a call with Mickey, and Mickey took the steps, and here was the end result. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Mickey Hernandez, sales manager for Lace Up Solutions here. Man, Charlie's been my consultant, my friend, my mentor for over five years now. Last week alone, his mentorship, his help, his advice, his skills made me $26,000 on Wednesday. Our number one day ever, period, exclamation point. Charlie, man, I want to say thank you. I love you. I hope you can help more people just like me moving forward. Thanks, buddy. So let me ask you this question, and some of you may have heard this before. Is it simple? Does it work? And can I do this? Repeat. Is it simple? Does it work? Can I do this? You know who said that? Anybody know who said that? A lady by the name of Mary Kay Ash. Anyone know who she is? Started a $3 billion company. Is it simple? Does it work? Can I do this? Could everyone in this room reach out your hand and say, hi, what's your name? Can everyone in this room get their power pitch down? Can everyone in this room use better words and master your craft and really learn the art of presentation? I think the answer is what? Yes. Absolutely. Business cards. Crucial. I'm not going to call my man Hollis out in the front row here, the very handsome man with the jacket. We're tight, right, Hollis? I said, Hollis, want to hook up, bro? Got a card? I asked 10 people that here. Five people didn't have cards. I'm not being polarizing. It's an impression. They're not old school. Gentlemen, in my age bracket, I would assume, probably younger than me. That's how we grew up. See, if you're a millennial and you say, no, just hit me up on Facebook or just hit me up on text, you were brought up to treat people how they want to be what? I actually got that backwards. See, I'm so conditioned to do it the right way. I was brought up, treat people how you want to be treated. But it's not how you want to be treated. You need to treat people how they want to be treated. See, I want a business card, because when I get back to my hotel at 9, 10, 11 o'clock after being here for four straight days, and I'm tired, I'm going to go in my pocket to take out my money, and I'm going to pull out everything that I have. Where's Justin Myers? See here? Okay, he just got exposed. It's an impression. Is everybody with me? Business cards are not dead. The show up, Eric Thomas, the hip hop preacher. I'm going to go through this fast. I crashed a direct sales convention. I suited up, I dressed to impress. I walked in, I saw the security guard at the door. I said, Hi, my name's Charlie. What's your name? She said, Mary. I said, Mary. I need your help. Write that down. I need your help, Mary. I'm a local business guy here. I heard the Keani invention was in town. I need to get to the CEO. Could you point him in my direction? She said, sure, follow me. She walked me in the conference, introduced me to CEO. I said, hi, my name's Charlie, what's your name? Right? Gave him my power pitch. I showed him the Lightspeed VT platform. Now, I did not close that deal, but while I was there, I saw a guy by the name of Eric Thomas speak. He was doing a meet and greet. I didn't have a backstage pass, but I was suited up, looked like I belonged, went back there, said to the person at the door, Hi, my name's Charlie. What's your name? Sue. Sue, you get it? Walked in, met Eric. Took me two years to close the deal, but Eric Thomas is now a client. John Taffer, the knock. I emailed him. I called him. I got some of his lower level people on the phone. Then they got fired. I was starting all over. I got so frustrated one day, I found out that his office 
had opened in Vegas. I got in my car, dressed up, suited up, went to the door, there was a buzzer, no solicitation. Do you think that that sign was put there for me? <laughs> Absolutely not. I rang the buzzer, walked in, hi sir, can I help you? Yeah, I'm here to see John, is he around? Well, no sir, do you have an appointment? No, I don't, but I need to see John. Well, sir, what's this pertaining to? Well, I empower speakers, trainers, and subject matter experts to monetize their content online worldwide. I'm, I'm interested in doing a joint venture with John that could potentially result into six, if not seven figures a year in monthly recurring revenue. I need to see him right now. She said, well, he's not here. I said, well, then who's here that can make a decision? Well, Gina's here. Gina walked out. Guess what I said to Gina, my first words out of my mouth. Hi, my That's for you. You got it right. Hi, my name's Charlie. What's your name? Gina. Gina, nice to meet you. I need 30 seconds of your uninterrupted time. If you don't like what I have to say, you can throw me out. Well, what's this about? I empower speak. You get it? Three days, four days later, that picture, I'm in John Taffer's office, ink the deal, he gave me a shut it down button. Buddy Velastro, the cold call. I love when people say the cold call's dead. It's not dead. It's another bullet in your gun. I called Buddy Velastro's bakery. It's Buddy there. No, you gotta call his manager. Called his manager, couldn't get through, wouldn't give me the time of day. But I realized that the bakery number was two zero 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 at the end. They said this must be a rollover number or, or maybe there's sequential numbers. So I called zero one. They said receiving. I called zero two accounting. Zero three cake decorating. Zero four. Hi, this is John, Internet and Marketing Services. John! Charlie Chena, man, how you doing? Good, John, I need your help. I'm hope I'm talking to the right person. I work with a lot of speakers, trainers like Tony Robbins, Les Brown, Eric Thomas, and I need to connect with Buddy because I have an opportunity where he could potentially monetize his content worldwide, 24-7 on demand, blah, 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 blah. Two weeks later, I'm on a flight with the CEO of Lightspeed, Brad Lee, and we're in Buddy's office and we ink a deal. Now, I'm showing you these people not to impress you, but because you know who they are. It's social proof. I have over 150 clients just with my light speed business that you've never even heard of that are monetizing their content online. I have over 100 businesses. Many of my clients are in this room that utilize that service to help better train their people. So it works. Direct mail. Direct mail is so out, it's in. Direct mail is so out, it's in. What you're looking at is a mail piece that I sent out. The, mail, the actual flyer itself was given to me by um, my manufacturer and a product I was representing. I was in the construction business for 12, 13 years. Number 10 envelope. That disgusting chicken scratch is mine. That business card is nasty. Would you agree? and there's a one or two cent green paper clip. I sent that to a guy by the name of Steve Scolari at Superior Marble and Tile. Superior Marble and Tile controlled a lot of big tile and marble jobs on the strip. I was looking to get into the Wynn Resort. That 67 cent mail piece resulted in a $2.5 million deal. I mailed it out in February, I emailed them, no response. I called them, no response. I brought donuts, no response. One day, 90 days later, Steve calls me and says, Charlie, it's Steve Scolari. And I'm not joking, that's how he sounded. He was 5'5 five five by 5'5, five five, Italian dude. Bulldog. Just miserable. Get down here if you want this job. I said, well, well, Steve, I'm looking at your damn flyer. Get down here. I was a block away, I swear to God. Block away. I kept him on the phone, I walked in. Steve, is this quick enough for you? Got the deal. Right, Charlie Chena. Hey man, hope all is well. Just wanted to reach out, you were top of mind. I was in San Francisco over the weekend 
and uh, watching the Olympics and you and Apollo popped to mind. So just wanted to reach out, see how you're doing, see how things at Elysian are going and would love to connect for a call and catch up. Would love to show you two of the advancements that we've made here to the technology as well. So let me know what you're looking like. Shoot me a text or an email or just uh, call me anytime. Look forward to speaking. Thanks. So that video up there was 33 seconds long. Was that pretty much seventh grade language that I used? Nothing fancy. Was I selling anything? No. I called deals one day. I walked in. My pipeline wasn't full. I'm like, what am I going to do? How many of you ever walked in one day and you're, you're like, who am I going to call? Right? You're, you're, you're stuck. Raise your hand. I went back to my old deals that were dead. It was a two-year-old deal. I used a service called BombBomb Bomb to send video emails and video texts. I sent that. The next day, if you look right here, up, if you look right here, it says, I sent that on the 12th, on the 13th, I got a response. Right? He said, hey, Charlie, Elysian's doing well. We started another major project in the blockchain space, check out my website. I responded, glad to hear from you and I will check out Hybrid Block. I just launched a company on the Lightspeed platform that's in your space. They're having incredible success. All the best on your new venture. Three days later, I'm out to dinner with my wife and daughter and I get a phone call. Guy says, hi, this is Henry. I'm associates of Apollo, Ono, and Henry Yao. We're ready to do something. I'm in Vegas for Chinese New Year. Is it all right if I stop by your office on Monday? Guys, what I'm showing you is recent. Like, this just happened several months ago. Lester just happened several months ago. So what I'm sharing with you absolutely positively works. So here's the deal. We all buy return on investment, and we all sell return on investment. You buy a cup of coffee. You don't want it to be bitter. You want it to have the right flavor. You want it to be hot, right? You want the caffeine rush. It's return on investment. You buy a car, it's return on investment. Now, if you're buying final expense insurance, you still want to return it. You might not be able to enjoy it, right? But you're looking for a return on investment for your who? For your family. So we all buy ROI. We all sell our ROI. Selling is the actual process of engaging in and making the sale. People are on the internet. They've already made their decision most likely of who they're going to do business with before, in most cases, before they even pick up the phone to call you. Or if they have interacted with you and they hang up, they're going to get online and do their research. So selling is the dance, it's the exposure, it's the marketing, it's your power pitch. And if you have your message to market down, and you're high what's your name, and you're doing business with truth, authenticity, and proof. You get it? Truth, authenticity, and proof that what you have to offer them is going to work and serve them. You'll be able to close deals. Closing is the achievement of a desired outcome, which is an exchange of money or acquiring a signature, approving the transference of money to complete a deal. That's closing the deal. 90% of that deal is exposure. Multiple points of contact. The call, the video email, the card. I've sent pizzas to people before. I've sent cards. I use a service called Send Out Cards. After an appointment, I take a picture with the client. You familiar with it? And I send them two brownies. I've sent it to multi-millionaires that I couldn't buy a Rolls Royce for and get a response from. And they call me and say, Charlie, oh my gosh, that card was beautiful. Why? Because it had a picture of them on it. And I gave them two brownies. And a guy that owns a very prominent hotel casino in Vegas calls me and says, I'm sitting here with my partner and we're dunking the brownies in the coffee. So multiple points of contact. Now, this event was about mindset, mission, and moves. 
There's a lot of mentors in this room. There's a lot of people with a lot of knowledge and acumen. The gentleman that you're looking at is a mentor. He teaches Fortune 500, 100 companies how to hire the right people the first time. And not only is he a friend, David Lee Jensen, he's a client. The Hiring Academy, I just wanted to send you a heartfelt thanks. You picked up the phone with your family in Europe and walked me through the help I needed to close a deal. I work with a lot of high-level uh, professionals, and in fact, this deal was with a Fortune 100 company, and for some reason I got stuck, but you, you're the guy who will pick up the phone in Europe. You're the guy who will actually take the time to evaluate what is the situation and then help me with like a one, two, three step process to simplify it and get the sale. And that's exactly what I did. I got the sale, and I really thank you for your help. Charlie Tina, you're good people. Some of you are out there saying, man, this guy shows a lot of videos of his customers. <laughs> Who said that? Stand up, sir. Hi, my name's Charlie. What's your name? Dan, we've met, haven't we? Yeah. Come on up. This is my brand new book. Yeah, Dan. My brand new book. I just literally had 120 co 25 copies printed just to get to this event. If there's any typos in it, let me know. <laughs> but that's social proof. See, because here's the bottom line, ladies and gentlemen. Mentors have mentors. Gates had Buffett. Tony Robbins had Jim Rohn. Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones, and Oprah, Maya Angelou. Everyone in here is mentoring under somebody, and if you aren't, you should be. My goal today, in this two minutes I have left, was to transfer as much as I could with my 30 years of business experience and acumen to give you some tip techniques and strategies that absolutely positively work. So with your permission, I want to tell you why I'm here. And if I go five minutes over, is that okay, Cody? I'm here because of my family. I'm not here because of the you know, trains and planes and Rolex watches and all that stuff. That stuff does not motivate me. I want to make sure that my family is financially secure and they can live a life by design and not by default. So in the center there is my wife. We've been together going on 19 years, together 24. She's my rock. She supports me. As a matter of fact, yesterday was my son's 17th birthday and I said, son, I have a client, Cody and Lauren. I committed. He's like, Dad, do what you have to do. So give Carmen a big happy birthday, will ya? My son Carmen on the left, my daughter Sophia on the right. So here's the objective, guys and gals. You gotta move. You have to move. You need to use every road, every opportunity, relationship, and tool to educate yourself and get to the bank. There's no one right, one right way to do it. You just move, you take action. Cody just takes action. You saw me get a little emotional because I work with major players. You have to get out of your own way. You have to get out of your own way. So I've now created what I call my expose and close marketing system where I'm going deep. And what that is, is it's gonna be five one hour group coaching sessions where I take the participants and we break down and craft your message to market. We go deep on the word tracks, the scripts, what you need to say, what tools you should be utilizing to present position and profit and ultimately activate, acquire, and achieve success. Then I'm going to plug you into my one-year membership program. It's an on-demand virtual online platform. You'll get my Expose and Close book as well as my other book, my ebook, Creating Customers for Life. And then you will get my templated sales scripts for prospecting as well as presenting what it is that you sell an offer. This is the first time I'm offering it. 
I said to Cody, I'm not comfortable. It should be a $4,900 program. Cody's going, yeah, but this is an opportunity for you to get a small select group in a tremendous industry and grow it. So if anyone is interested in participating in the program, I've got Derek and Jeremy back there. Go back, see them. The program's just going to be $1,000. It's five online coaching sessions and one year to my online program. If you have QR code readers on your phone, I'd like to give everyone a gift today. That's my digital card that will also give you access to my free ebook, which is Creating Customers for Life. So it's been my absolute pleasure to present to you today. I hope I've presented and taught you how to position yourself so you can absolutely positively profit. And I just need one favor before I get off the stage from everybody. Will you do me one favor? Expose and close. <laughs> Shyla Trina! Thank you for being with us. Appreciate it so very much. Congratulations on the new book. Tell you, I've seen him do incredible work for speaker friends of mine. I've known Charlie for a while as well. And he's helping, you know, business owners, entrepreneurs, content providers really monetize their message. It's incredible.